We're doing it. All right, welcome to episode 127 of the Great Pendragon Campaign. Uh, it is still the year 548. Uh, if you remember, Loholt just passed away. Uh, mm -hmm. Arthur, so Arthur's kingdom now no longer has an heir. Um, and we're getting ready to go to a, a tournament over in Sarum uh, that's been proposed. So obviously, uh, we're going we're gonna to have a feast, and a lot of this feast is going to be um, a lot of people talking about sort of what's, what's next. Uh, for for the country, the obvious. So in terms, just so you all know, for when we frame the scenes here, uh, now Arthur doesn't have a named heir after Lohart, Loholt, right? But uh, according to law, it would go to his sister, right? And his sister is um, Morgan, right, of King Lot and the Orkneys. So mm -hmm. it would go to her and uh, so it would go to go to her uh, first knight, the Orkney boy, which would be Agravain. And Agravain, of course, was wanted for murder uh, and has been, uh, but he's been pardoned. But everyone's like, we probably shouldn't pick Agravain, right? Uh, so right. that's right now sort of what the conversation is. Uh, to make it worse is that obviously the Orkneys are pretty ardently paying. Uh, so mm -hmm. that doesn't bode well for the kingdom. So there's a lot of stuff to talk about as we get into it. Yeah. That's sort of, just, just so you know, that's sort of where things are. Um, um, and all of, all of uh remind me yeah arthur's heirs their mother has been not guinevere no exactly they're all been um recognized bastards and guinevere hasn't produced any heirs correct yeah i'm i'm wondering if people are talking about that <laughs> they are but definitely quietly <laughs> quietly yeah <laughs> um yeah let's say quietly all right, uh, so we're actually going to do a feast starting off. Uh, just a quick little two round. This will be happening in Sarum, right? This is, again, like mm -hmm. your, your celebratory honorific stuff. Uh, you can't be seated less than near the salt, given mm. your prominence here. We're still rolling for... Yeah, absolutely. You should be rolling, getting your appearances. You can always, you know, in case you uh, can check your, your fashion and the like. Yeah. Uh, <sighs> but, um... I pass appearance. Coming off of the royal uh, funeral, your, your, wet, your, your festival is obviously, or your tournament starting a little bit later in the year than was planned for mm. tone is obviously more dour than you probably would expect right. uh and uh, definitely more tense palpably more tense than you would expect this was supposed to be a fun time and uh yeah you know or you know earl gorthran's doing what he can uh sorry quick point of order um we all should have solved this earlier, maybe last session or so, but what was the tournament for this year in Sarum? What were the stakes? Was it for the love of it? Were you doing it for the gear? Um, for the horses as well? This was... Only the horses? When, how are you doing it? Sorry, this, is this the one that I organized, or is this one of the regular... Okay, yeah. No, this is, this is your organized proper tournament. Yeah, um... I don't think we talked about it, the, but yeah. I had an idea of having like a prize. Um, like, uh, do you remember the bright sword of Salisbury? Yeah. As, like a kind of pseudo. Yeah. I think something like that of like being recognized and being allowed to wear a special thing um, to recognize that you were the, the tournament winner. Oh, um, nice. So, okay. Yeah. yeah I think uh, uh, let, let's say like a, 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 a silken sash, like uh so in, in your normal livery, you also get to wear the sash um, over it, and uh, you know a, a matching pin on your on your lance. Yeah. Um, and we'll call it the the bright lance of Salisbury, I mean, recognized as nice. The bright lance of Salisbury. Yeah. So it'd be for the love of, but of course, there's the added prize of on top. Yeah. Okay. Maybe cool. maybe throw some Libra in there. I don't know. Yeah, it's a redeemable cash prize if, instead. Okay, thanks for that. All right, so you're both near the salt. Uh, 
let's see what the first two dishes are going to be this year. Eels and thick spicy puree and lampreys mm. and hot sauce. All right, we're doing a lot of Ooh, a lot of seafood. The privy overfloweth. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> She says two two round feast. Yeah, it's a two rounder. It's the sarum. Guards. Nice. Inside of you, there are two host cards. Yep. So, not going to be uh, not going to be lending a knight any money. Uh, and then what's this? A passing praise. Hostess of the Feast walks by. Not is the is the Earl married? The Earl must be married for sure. Yeah. Um, she's he's married to uh, what's her name? Office Lady Ethelwolf. That's right. I was like, she has a great name. I just cannot remember what it was. Yeah. Okay, so I got two two host cards. One of them is host passes by. The host comes by and speaks with you about a topic dear to your heart. Uh, roll strongest passion. Um, and then the other is regale regale the host. Well, this is Kate Wall. I don't know who yeah. her highest passion is. Uh, regale the host. Uh, you are asked to entertain the high table with a story. Roll orate, which is not one of my better performative skills for Kate Wall. You would get the plus Which, one geniality, so you got that going yeah, for you. Yeah, yeah. That bring me up. To I'm a sure four. that. Yeah, I'm <laughs> sure it really <laughs> makes all the difference. Yeah. Too bad it's not Gorthran. Gorthran is fairly decent or right, but Cadwall is more of a composer yeah. and a singer than uh, an orator. <clears throat> so I'm going to go with highest passion. Host passes by uh, and at, desires that speak about. Honor is my highest. Uh, at a 19. Mm, nice. So let's see how it goes. All right. I mean, with a 19 honor. Yeah, you know, you're not really Colin rolling it. here. I think you're going to be yeah, okay. Yeah. Come on. Go. <laughs> well put. I haven't Plus even rolled any on. dice yet. <laughs> Grand. All right. Speak to honor. Okay. Um, not doing queasy, not doing pay and promise. Ladies' favor is interesting, but actually, I think I like uh, God's shine on you. Um, so I just I'm keeping this card, uh, and the next next turn I'm going to be extra extra charming. Awesome. All right. Before we do the next round. Uh, the Earl needs to speak with you, uh, Acewin. Mm. Uh, Earl Gorthran has a kind of a delicate matter. Uh, you can tell that he's been talking to the bishop, uh, before talking to you. Mm -hmm. Or sorry, Archie, not Acewin. Um, the Earl is asking you, uh, about your, the... He, he, well, he, I guess you should say he just spoke to the bishop who uh, who we were going through some paperwork and uh, it's about your tax charter mm -hmm. uh, about the ferry. It technically ended with Rofus's tenure. So like with his mm -hmm. father's tenure. Um, and he doesn't want to look at you know he doesn't want to renew it with so he, he's trying to he's struggling with uh saying like look i think it would be best for everyone if we just donate the proceeds to the church uh oh, okay. rather than reneging it or doing anything like that what do you that that was actually going to be archie's suggestion if if it were imperiled he'd be like well why don't we put it in the church's name and it benefits yeah. the the local shrine yeah that's okay Good. All right. That's settled then. You can tell he was stressed about asking you and because, mm. you know, he didn't want this to be a, a big deal, but there, <laughs> this is a legal thing. We both, it's just one of those things we yeah. both start saying the same thing at the same time. <laughs> yeah. Oof, oof. Oh, th okay. Thank goodness. All right. Um, 
Yeah. And at this point, he recognizes it's, it is not a big thing on the ledger. So it's a Libra, like, yeah. Not not worth fighting over. Yeah. It technically uh, and, yeah. It's, and it's a good way to get in with the with the bishop. Yeah. You 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 lost this due to a misfortune event this year. Uh, you lost a random bit of property and I rolled that one, so that's how I'm gonna roll yeah. it in. Okay. Nice. I'm not I'm not just arbitrarily being mean. Grand. You're GMing, so that's true. I guess I do have the authority. I do have the writ. Uh, Greg Stafford gave me a letter of Mark to be a jerk. Mm -hmm. Last axe. Lampreys and hot sauce are being paired with roost lark. Popular. Nice. I got a really that would have been nice. This is this is a good one to have at the beginning, I guess. Uh, you're popular tonight. Everyone seems drawn to you. you mm. Plus two geniality around as long as you hold it. <laughs> uh, let's see. Chivalrous. chivalrous life. Okay. Conversation turns to matters of chivalry. And then roll a d6 to talk about which one of those traits. So is it, is it, is it the traits of energetic, generous, just, merciful, modest, or valorous? Yeah. I got like a 50 50 chance of those being insanely good or man. So depends if you're talking to a, uh, yeah, yeah. a Tristan fanboy or a Lancelot fan. I'm sure. Yeah. Let's see. Tipsy. You keep forgetting your manners. Is it the drink? Roll courtesy at minus five. And then wow. lead the dance. Lead the dance. Kind of like, kind of like chivalry, chivalrous life. Conversation yeah. turns to matters of chivalry. So let's see. What do we get here? Cadwalla, what is best in life? Yeah. Four is mercy. Ooh. Uh, not terrible. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not like it's not like my energetic or valor. Um mm. so let's see. I have a twelve for merciful. Oh, this is probably so. uh dovetailing about the conversation of the air and aggravain stuff like that about mercy and mm. forgiveness and yes yeah oh failure. oh all right uh, nothing no 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 bonus on failure yeah. just but not uh, embarrassing myself yeah. but no bonus yeah. it's nice. like mercy you know it's like Do you, someone's, someone's yeah. talking about like <laughs> Uh, you know, pardoning uh, a murderer and like, uh, is is it still mercy if we forget the crime and you weigh in heavily and before you realize they're talking about aggravating? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I thought we were just talking about a peasant somewhere. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I suppose yeah. if you wanted to, you could, you could, uh, you could have the choice to pass, but then check vengeful. If it felt if it felt important enough to you in the moment. Oh, wait, hold on. Do I draw cards? Yes, yeah. I can still draw this cards. This is around two. Okay. Well no, because the sometimes yeah. uh card you're holding doesn't let you draw. Yeah. All right. Um Let's see, a lady's gift. Uh interesting. Could be interesting, especially because there's a chance of a fight. Uh great deeds, always a classic. Uh more drink. That's definitely not in his wheelhouse. Young braggarts. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, I got some interesting things here. Courtesy, dancing, flirting. Anything I could use that in? Unfortunately, I don't think so. Actually. Uh -huh. Now let's do great deeds because there's a chance I get to use orate if I win with pride nice yeah great deeds and it's it's always a crowd pleaser is of course the story of the great exfiltration of paris mm -hmm. All right. this is modest versus proud which is straight 10 10 ooh, ooh. all right so proud oh. did win roll all right all right, or eight, and I've got a plus. Okay. 
Oh my. Okay. That's uh, so it's an automatic success because it's plus five plus three it's plus eight and I'm already at 15. Oh, nice. So you can't fail. Yeah. yeah, I cannot fail. Love that. No crit though. Uh, awesome. Nice. Remarkable. Uh, so I get the usual as well as one more and then 10 glory on top, which is functionally, I'm just going to make it another geniality. This is a, this is a good, good feast for Archie, actually. Nice. Uh, yeah. So you, I don't know who, uh, several, these several knights were talk, telling about great deeds. My guess is they were also kind of like the young braggarts. Mm -hmm. It being a tournament. You're hosting it being a tournament. Nice. Yeah. All right. Uh, by the end of the feast, uh, you all, by, by being virtue of being close to the round table, um, or, and or, sorry, being close to the high table and being knights of the round table, I'm just combine those two things in my brain. Uh, you probably will know Arthur's brain before others. Um, you know, the archbishop is. Um, agreeing with Arthur that perhaps uh, Gawain will be named heir, uh, but he would require a, a baptism mm. and doing all that kind of stuff. Interesting. So, uh, yeah. Unf so that's kind of, it's not official. It hasn't been declared entirely yet. But you also know then that Lamarack. And the rest of the uh, the Gales family, like the Welsh lads, are mm. absolutely steaming about this, right? I don't know. You might be with him with Lamarack. Uh, it's very likely, uh, you know. And he says probably something to like, you know, you know, he's he's gonna accept Christ my hours, you know. He's gonna be running naked <laughs> between the fires of Beltane as soon as he's done, you know, uh, you know. Uh, and uh, he even says uh, that, like, you know, it's going to be a cold day in hell uh, before the DeGales kneel to a spawn of the Orkney. Mm. Right? So, uh, you're going to expect that Arthur is going to be spending a lot of time diplomatizing this. Um, you know, you don't, I don't, do you all, what do you all think? Do you think, the, well, do you think the Welsher would rebel? Given given the states, or given the stakes, I mean, this is your character totally speculating, weird. right? Yeah, imagine, totally imagine, folks. Ago, yeah, like imagine this is in yeah. character, right? Like imagine, we'll like you know, it. it's night. People have kind of you know closed off. You maybe you're walking the battlements or something, just having a good time, you know, or coming back mm. from you know wherever, and um, you just have a chance to like, kind of talk with each other a little bit. And what's your impressions? Yeah. What do you think is going to happen? Archie's like, I th I think. I think there's a certain amount of uh, doomsaying about this. Um, rebellions happen when you're throwing off something. Uh, I think this it's such a large question mark, isn't it? It's not as though we should have been particularly aggrieved uh, by the rule of Logras in general. Um, certainly no more than the Welsh are aggrieved by anything. And uh, well, I wonder if... if those who are saying that they're going to take the opportunity to rebel, that you don't know. I, I think a, a large question mark. You don't, you don't rebel over. You you rebel to throw something off, and unless it's it, it's an incoming king who they know is going to shackle them further or shackle them uh, the same. I, I I don't see the them making that risk. Certainly, if they rebel, the new king would have a perfect opportunity to to solidify his own rule in blood by stamping that rebellion. There's nothing more validating for a king than knocking over some rebels. Now, so they'll, they're not, uh, I think they'll, they'll they don't have allies. See. They don't have yeah. allies. That'll be a wait and see. Then they might rebel, mm -hmm. but... Right. There's still a uh, blood feud between the the two houses, right? Yeah. Now, Arthur has unresolved. said, Arthur has said there's no fighting in the war room, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But yes, the blood feud is still 
very very much in 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 act right one lost a father yeah. one lost a mother mm -hmm. i think that alone regardless of the wisdom of rebellion that alone is going to going to to me it'll make it lean more towards though they won't accept this like how could mm -hmm. they so Kaywala feels that there's something real to their words, and Ace yeah. and Archie thinks it's more to uh, the stakes are it's too political, it's too high, too high. It wouldn't actually rebel. Is that where I'm getting? Yeah, yeah. Archie Archie thinks that it's a demonstration that they are they are uh, making noise to kind of get the the attention of like concessions of leverage. Uh, because like the blood, as far as yeah. Archie's concerned, like the blood he, feud is a personal thing. It's it's it doesn't happen on the level of nations. Yeah, Kid Walla, can you check trusting and uh, Archie? Can you check suspicious? <laughs> <Sure>. <laughs> yeah. but, you know, you believe in the hearts of men, and you trust when people say things, and you are like, the, the political stakes are." <laughs> <Wait, dude. laughs> yeah, yeah, awesome. Because they got a lot of. This is the line of Pelinor, right? Yep, like, exactly. They're they're kings in their own. They're not just like a jumped up baron. No, no, yeah, yeah exactly. They the kingdom of Wales, right? Yeah, versus the yeah. kingdoms of the north, right. right? Yeah. So they are very, very much, uh, very high stakes. Yeah. Uh, for what it's worth, both of your opinions are pretty much the same everywhere. Everyone has different ideas. Sagramore is kind of like I have no I fucking idea, guys. <laughs> like, I don't know. I don't, I don't, you know, like the last thing I want to do is kill my brother. You know, like I don't want yeah. it, or brother in arms. You know, and uh, yeah, I think uh, Archie also probably puts out a little bit. Be like, we all look. We all want a war. We, we all want a, a a big brouhaha to earn some glory, but doesn't mean it's going to happen. Certainly not on our soil. Mm. Right. And that's honestly, uh, everyone's like, I, that's where I'll be praying this Pentecost is for some fucking French guy to show up and just be yeah. annoying. <laughs> like, please, please, God, send us a French jerk. Please, please, please. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fix this. I wish they would come over. Right. <laughs> so uh, that's, yeah, exactly. Like, oh my God. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's go for the tournament here uh, for the Silken Sash of Salisbury. Now, uh, Archie, you will not be participating in the tournament. Correct. Uh, with, if you recall from last session many moons ago, uh, you got knocked out by Defid <laughs> in like the first Defid part. the Welsh. Yeah. yeah. And uh, he's been um, riding that high ever since. Um, yeah. So, as <laughs> if you don't mind, um, I kind of need like a saving throw from you from not necessarily like the press there's not necessarily the modern equivalent of like a press junket but there's definitely a lot of folks kind of harping on you uh you know as everyone's running around uh mm -hmm. let's say after the pendants and stuff have been passed over and so all the men are kind of like getting psyched up and you know or like all the knights are kind of psyched up in their armor and stuff and every time they go over to you as you're approving them you know it's it's great the first five times but then you know <laughs> after that it's very much like oh you're not participating i see you know like it, like it gets on you after 10 you know <laughs> this is mm -hmm. uh so um so how do you proud. how do you endure the slings and arrows of uh your previous uh bad bout at the tournament and everyone kind of rubbing it in you know, it's harmless, right? No one's, no one's actually. Yeah, I'd actually, I'd like to lean into maybe honest and and be and just kind of like own it. Be like, yeah, no one saw this coming. Like, what a what an extraordinary event that happened that like has no reflection on my talent because it was such an outlaw. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Ted Lasso. <laughs> sure. Um. Yeah, I would accept honest there. Okay, let's roll. Let's roll honest. Oh shit! Okay, so I come off completely honest until the very end, the last sentence. But what was the ref thinking? Like, <laughs> yeah. what, like <laughs> called a shattered lands when like 
technically Clearly, it was still like it was, it was dangling hanging. it was it was dang it was a dangler it was it was a dangling chad i, know, I yeah. know there's no consensus on how you treat a dangler but like where i'm from a, a <laughs> shattered means a shattered. Chad, yeah we don't do danglers here in salzburg <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Um, yeah, so I think you should probably check Pride if you haven't already. Yeah. That's going to be interesting come winter because I am exactly at my chivalry uh, right now. And if I lose a point of mercy, of uh, modesty, yeah. I lose my chivalry. Nice. Yeah, point of order. Uh, I was thinking about it and like something I wish I did for this game more and probably I should just introduce at some point is things other than uh, chivalry that you could like aspire to have like a package of traits that are aspirational. Mm -hmm. So you can I don't know, something else to build for your characters in terms of goals. Um, mm -hmm. Right. Like the vengeful knight or like, you know, or like the mm -hmm. knight adventurer type thing. Mm -hmm. Right. That those kind of packages that might give you a similar kind of bonus. That doesn't necessarily mean you're like, I'm just the religious chivalrous, you know, I'm the Lancelot. Right. The Black Knight would yeah. be a great, right. like, yeah. it gives the them a like, glory yeah. bonus of like you're the you're the you're, you're the, the bad asshole. guy. Yeah, exactly. Right. The heel. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like I would love to have a little bit more of like rest. Yeah, exactly. Like if we could use wrestling parlance. It would be actually kind of incredible for the tournament era. So, anyways, uh, that's something that was in my head. Uh, let's do this tournament, eh? All, All right. right uh, can it. each of you please roll me? Uh, a d6 to see the status of your first contender. Oh, sorry, not Archie. Yeah, no. Me. But if you wanted to play, like, uh, Archie's son's a squire, right? He's not old enough. You surely have house household knights. Yeah, you want to play household knight? So, um, just so you can get some action in? or Well, I was actually going to kind of try and do some, some politic y stuff in the background. Oh, um, cool. All right, so we have something to do for you. I don't want you to sit, yeah. sit here while okay, Walla takes the whole thing. No, that's fine. All right, cool. All right, uh, you're going against, uh, with a two, um, not pretty much someone fresh, not, mm -hmm. you know, not just got knighted this Pentecost, but uh, someone who hasn't really proved themselves, a knight by the name of Nia of London. Is it the same one? No, it's okay, so she, there was a yeah. Nia who's a Welsh man at arms. Yeah, no, this is someone different. This, this is someone different. Right. All right. Uh, so yeah. At a tournament, Let's they see. are best at flirting. So you, you All right. hopefully you have nothing to fear here. Yeah. But they are unproven. Uh, well, uh, their stat, their skill is 13, which um, was exactly the same stat that unhorsed Archie. So good luck. Yeah. 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 It's not, it's not a given. Six. I'm going to go. So it'll be. This is a local tournament, so just for the honor of our our Earl. Mm -hmm. Let's see. They're going for the prize it's, money. If they got the sash, yeah. they would redeem it. Sorry. <laughs> oh, okay. Goner. All right. Um. After. After this round, uh, your armor is kind of janky a little bit. It's going to be fine, but um, you probably just need to get it checked uh, and looked at later. Okay. Right? Your black, yeah, your blacksmith's like, oh, I can patch this. This is fine. Right? You're good to yeah. go. No, no effects for the rest of the tournament. But like afterwards, hang on a second. Because this is the experimental armor that you have, right? So you're kind of... Yeah, this is uh, El Elkazel's yeah. uh, elf armor. Oh, wait. No, you're using Elkazel's armor. Yeah. Oh right. Yeah, it's even better. That's, right. that's not the experimental yeah. one. It's yeah, it's the Elven armor. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's even better. Okay. Yeah, I think it protects the same, right? It does, a hundred percent. But yeah, it's yeah. uh it's getting something's wrong with them like your maintenance with it, right? Like yeah. after after a hit or something, like you know, there's a joint that keeps popping out or whatever, and you know, you're fine, it's functional. It doesn't give you any yeah. penalties or anything like that, but you might need to get a proper blacksmith to look at it uh, at the end of the All year. Right. All right. 
uh, let's go to you, Colin. Um, what kind of politicking are we looking at? So the thing that Archie's interested in. Um, so one one of the observations about uh, feudalism and, and, and monarchism in general is uh, that it is uh, incredibly durable in terms of power during a reign. It's the traditions that are the, the incredibly uh, you know fraught things. Yeah. Um, and these lines of secession and all that are meant to create durability and uh, and such between reigns. Mm-hmm. But uh, here we have a situation where the that secession protocols have not created a durability. Um, Archie is wondering what are people thinking as alternatives? Like everyone knows officially how it should play out and who yeah. the kind of acceptable options are Gawain, you know, the Orkneys, like trying to sort of mediate the, the, the official line of secession. But what are the, like the unconventional and unorthodox thoughts people are having the kind of little, a little wilder stuff, the, the ways that people are trying to insert their own ambitions into this perceived chaos or opportunity that may happen if Arthur dies. Hmm. Sure. Okay. So there's a there's a poll happening. One is who is positioning themselves to become the next king of Britain, right? Mm-hmm. And be Pendragon. You have those types. And on the other mm-hmm. half, you have people who are expecting things to just fall apart into petty kingdoms and rule there. Um, so I think you're probably looking more towards the fir- former rather than the latter. You're like people who this, still think that Pendragon would, yeah, that the title for and, this round, yes, yeah, yeah, okay, sure. Uh, I mean, the obvious one is Mordred. Okay, has um, Mordred been coming up on my radar more and more? Um, or, he's, or he's is he still kind of an unknown to me? Like he's no. still kind of that. You had him over, remember? And then yeah. your whole life went to shit. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, right. Yeah. Um, yeah. So Mordred's definitely been on your radar, which is probably why he's coming up right now. Yeah. As uh, yeah, you think Mordred? Your your impression of Mordred is that you think Mordred would probably kill his brothers to take the throne. Yeah. So like, you're probably wondering like. You know, should I you should I even warn Gawain? Like, you know, like, you know, does he already know? Right. Like, is like this is a like there's a serious there's a there's a serious threat of uh, fratricide. fratricide. Yeah, I wasn't not quite regicide yet. Fratricide would be the problem. Okay, interesting. Yeah, interesting. Okay. Um, let's see the round table knights in particular. Uh. I think they're all kind of none of them have that much ambition for the throne in particular. If anything, they're more worried about their their lords and like what would I have to do to protect my lord? What does my lord want? Right? So you don't have to so in terms of the, you know, 100 odd knights of you all, um no one really thinks they can, you know, some people now let me take that back a little bit, thinking about it some more. Kind of stream of consciousing this. Um I think a few people maybe be putting up Lance a lot if he were here. That was the quiet question in the back of Archie's head uh, is here's this incredibly capable and incredibly popular knight. Yeah. Who has who has a, a relationship with the queen. And like, yeah. is there anyone who would see that as an acceptable alternative to the Orkney boys? Yeah. But you know he's still missing in action, right? He has he's been yeah. gone for I think a year at this point. Yeah, no one believes he's dead. He's yeah. fucking Lancelot. He, exactly. So. <laughs> um, let's see. He, his kingdoms in um, I think it's Brittany. It's technically where he's from. Mm-hmm. Let's see. The De Gales fought with them a lot. Are, are like on the side of Lancelot's holdings a lot, so they would probably be 
they would probably be suitable for that. Yeah, I think they would be okay. Um, the other, th I, the third faction here would be King Mark of Cornwall. Mm. He would love to be king of it all. Okay. But um, he would also settle for just being a king of an independent Cornwall. Okay. That gives Archie some thoughts. Um, you can, you 100% think that Tristram's in danger uh, if that would come to pass, though. And yeah. That, you know, King Mark had to humiliate himself about oh, yeah. Tristram, right? Yeah. Th those are the kinds of things I think Archie is really interested in. It's like, if there's going to be this uncertainty, who's going to take advantage of it and to do what? And it's like, King Mark killing Tristram sounds like very plausible. Like Mordred killing brothers, very plausible. And so mm -hmm. these are the things, these are the kind of crises that Archie is now thinking, okay, well, how do we kneecap these? How do we make these an impossibility should the worst come back, come to pass? All right. Um, and, and speaking, that's, that's, yeah. That's all. That's for later. That's just, I'm just, that's just me forecasting what column yeah. player is going to rabbit hole down. All right. And actually, uh, while, while I still have your attention, there's another issue that would have come up because of this tournament. Uh, speaking of Tristram, I think Tristram and Lady Iseholt probably would have either found a place to sneak off together, or you could have actually helped to bet them. And I don't know how you want to handle that. I don't know what's more interesting to you, is whether they came to you asking for, you know, would be a good place to go snog, outside the uh you know the realm I, or I'm gonna kibosh that immediately just because i am 10 chase 10 lustful and uh, historically my character's never been that kind of um but he wouldn't know the best places to snog he's only ever really snogged his wife you know what i think it'd be you're okay fine do you mind if i i if i uh pivot that i'm gonna jujitsu this and actually say what if they what you will find out Wherever it is, I think, as as Marshall and stuff, I feel like you're you're entitled to that information. Um, however, I think maybe Tristram came to Kedwala. Yeah. Given your um your past and obviously your your rivalry thing, and be like, look, I you know, uh, helping to have a duel here, but um, he'll ask you, uh, for actually, what's the name of the woods next to, um, Tilsbury? Do you remember? Modron or Blakeswood? One of those two. I think it's the Modron Wood. Sorry, I'm never going to get over the Modron. <laughs> the Modron yeah. March? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. So, um, yeah, one of those two. Map says Blakemore or Crokewood. Yeah. Uh, let's go. Those are the, there, there's like a couple of woods and then a big forest. Yeah, but they're, all sort of in one, they're all sort of in one clump. Yeah. Um yeah, so the Crookwood's Crookwood's probably closest flake more wood right there. Yeah, let's go with the Crookwood. Um mm -hmm. He'll ask he'll ask you if the Crookwood is uh you know a, a quiet place for a, a stroll. Uh you immediately understand what he's talking about, about how he wants mm -hmm. to bring a lady. Um, yeah, and you're smart enough to assume that it's probably the Lady Isolt. Now you could convince probably. him to not do it, right? I don't know how you personally feel about their infidelity and their cheating, which is kind of yeah. why also I kind of enjoy asking you this question, right? Because here's a yeah, good yeah. knight asking to basically, can I have a place so I can go see my lover, right? <laughs> yeah, uh, you know it's uh, it's the Crookwood. Let me see. It's not. It's not like the other woods around Salisbury, because there's some of them that are like, no, don't go there. Those are fairy woods. Yeah. Uh, people disappear in them. But I think the Crookwood's pretty and chill. Yeah. I mean, he's really interested in keeping this on the down low from, you know, uh, Archie and the types that yeah. love that yeah. just soak up gossip. <laughs> right. Yeah. And, and all the uh, really... all, yeah, all the catfish of Camelot that lay in the beds. Yeah. The Crookwood's out of the way. It's not on any major roads, really. Okay. So you, you would offer uh Yeah. Okay. Well, um, the, even the hill even the hills south of it. Yeah. You know, lots of little places to just 
disappear. I think you should check Lustful for that. For okay. abetting them. Or what do you think? What do you think is the right personality trait to say, um, you know, this is unlawful to do. And you're choosing to ignore that part and help the human part of these two people are in love and they never mm. and they can't see each other in Cornwall. So anytime they have a chance to go out, they will mm. try to have these rendezvous. Right. So yeah. I'm trying to picture what that would mean. Right. Because you have obviously like serious, you know, this is this would be really bad if they were caught and honestly prosecuted. King Mark would mm -hmm. then have cause for it. So him privately asking this is putting his kind of his you know his his status in your hands is right? he is this like open and he's like oh yeah we're gonna go there but you're, you're saying he's kind of like on the down low like he's not no he's he's providing he's not being honest with you yeah. but he he's not saying listen i want to snog lady ice queen ice yeah, where yeah. should we go he's saying what is a quiet place for contemplation for a walk you know in the woods you know he's saying these things in a way that are like they're obvious to you like you know the subtext but, mm -hmm. um, you know, in a way that if you were ever called to court, you got to just say, like, I don't know, dude, dude, want peace and quiet. I have no idea. Yeah. Right. He's giving you yeah. he's giving you cover, in other words, uh -huh. right? which is like, okay. you know, the kind of the bro thing that Tristan would probably do anyways. Right? Yeah, just for sure. Yeah. Um, yeah. The Brookwood or the hills above it or the south of it. Yeah. Oh, Lots thank of you. places to Good. have a quiet, uh, quiet yeah. moment. Nice. It has the, it has the, would you say it has the, you know, like, yeah, it has the nicest bower, you know, yeah. <laughs> uh, for you. Yeah. <laughs> sure. Um, yeah, that's probably what he asks. Uh, so what, um, but I'm wondering about what kind of, uh, virtue you would check here for that's a betting, a for betting their, their stuff. Cause there's no doubt that you know it, right. And you're going against legal authority to do so. So uh, there is some sort of pang in you with your loyalties and things like that and your honesty and your religion being so high to be like, maybe I should tell him that like, this is not a good idea. Right? I mean, I, I, re religion being high seems important here because adultery is such exactly. an explicit. Yeah. Bad I think it's thing. one of those, like, yeah. I think it's one of those, like her first response is, Oh, you could go mm -hmm. there. And then it's like, Oh wait, it's for this. And she's just like, it's quiet for a, walk alone but there are many shepherds uh, it would not be a good place to go for anything that you wouldn't want someone where where, where would a knight go outside of prying eyes i think so. there are yeah. there is no such place god's always watching you know <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay <laughs> Because like nice. looking at it, like the, the armor also uh, is probably a play here because it's like it reduces the capacity for love, diminishes libido. Yeah. Uh, and is an auto automatic check to chase. So That's I think true. probably the first one is, oh, yeah, Tristram does want to take a walk. Wait. Oh, this yeah. Is, you know, this isn't one of the yeah. contemplative yeah. nights. Right. He's looking. Yeah. And I would oh. think it would be a bad idea to be caught anywhere. No. Yeah, he did don't understand compromising situation you don't understand i'm suffocating in cornwall you yeah. have any idea how aggravating it is to be around the one that you love and you can't express it i understand it to be quite difficult perhaps there's somewhere else you could go that's why i'm asking you where can i go these are your <laughs> lands <laughs> not, yeah. I mean, for like you know so this is such as you know not a part of his daily life um <laughs> There's nowhere that I know of. Salisbury is quite uh, crowded. Well, but there's no place in Tillshead. There's no quiet. Am I going to have to ask Archie? <laughs> I believe Archie will tell you the same thing. You know, we'll see. Playing with fire. Because Mark King Mark's like old, but not like ancient, right? No. No, and yeah, obviously, like cuckolding his wife is like a huge problem. Right, like, 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 he's not. He's been, he's been reprimanded by Arthur about it, which makes it even worse. About being like, listen, this isn't happening, but everyone kind of knows it's happening, so, right? Yeah. All right. So yeah. then, okay, back to you, Colin. I guess Archie did have to come to you after. Uh, yeah, Kedwala. Yeah, I guess was... you should give yourself a check to something, uh, spiritual maybe, or so you know, or sen what's like sensible or uh, prudent, yeah. prudent, prudent, 
prudent. Yeah. yeah prudence, right. Yeah. Oh, that's of course. Of course. This is literally prudent versus reckless. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Check prudence for the year for, for offering this advice. And, uh, you know, Tristram did not enjoy uh, your conversation with them. Yeah. It's just, oh. I mean, I have sympathy for him. It's like, I'm not, I'm not trying to gloat. It's just like, you're torturing yourself. He doesn't see it that way. Cornwall. Yeah, but he doesn't. <laughs> well, yeah. Where he's else gonna can see he? It how he sees it. He's a sworn. He's sworn to King Mark. He can't. How do you get out of an oath, right? Yeah. King Mark has to release him, and King Mark isn't because if there's one he's thing he's actually enjoying is watching him suffer, right? Yeah. Uh, knowing that getting you what you want, uh, being in my court, uh, you know. Yeah, so. he'd have to become a monk. <laughs> Right. <laughs> so, Colin, the question comes back to you. Yeah. Uh, Tristan will ask about where's the uh, nicest uh, bower <laughs> in Salisbury. Mm. That's quiet <sighs> for contemplation. Um, you know, perhaps a place uh, I can pray in peace. Oh, I know some lovely chapels, and just, like, give him like some some chapels with priests to pray with you. <laughs> <laughs> so you would immediately know the implications right are you so what are you all, no. what are you asking him to do no archie would immediately answer the question not, not thinking <laughs> about the implications yeah yet. it would be the second time he asked that he would start thinking about implications yeah. but now these are trusted priests that you trust yeah oh, i, I not... mean if if archie knows them he trusts them And he has I mean, been ma trying to make inroads with the uh, the church, especially with the new bishop. Yeah. Um, I'm. I mean it. Are these men of the cloth yours? They will not tell the bishop or your earl what's going on. And at that point, it clicks for Archie what's yeah. being asked. It's like. Ooh, uh, now I look at my thing. Not looking, for, not looking good for you, Tristram. Mm -hmm. Is just is one of my highest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think Archie just puts a hand on her shoulder and goes, "I trust them absolutely to give counsel to those who are experiencing some." terrible rift in the soul some despondency from love just out of their reach the grip of mad lust those sorts of things these priests are entirely capable of giving you guidance on they will be by your side the whole time this land <laughs> yeah <laughs> Awesome. Uh, yeah, prudent. Nice. <laughs> I mean, immediately Archie land of cog blockers, man. Immediately, yeah. Archie goes and finds his wife. Is like, honey, you want to go on a sex trip? I haven't done that in a while. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Just ruthless. <laughs> Yeah. Just talking to someone, it had nothing to do with the conversation, you see. But I got, got me <laughs> thinking about you, my love. Oh. <laughs> apropos, yeah, apropos of nothing. <laughs> apropos of nothing. I'm so glad I have a wife to bang. Uh, that's fine. And it's my own. <laughs> no need to bang anyone else's wives. <laughs> what a wonderful world we live in. All right. Give me, uh, all right, next round, uh, Jim. For the twenty. Six. Six. Oh hell yeah. Round table got? night time. Uh D thirty right. for me, please. Let's see what we got. Mm -hmm. Okay. A six. A six is Okay. Uh six is Gwen. Which would he be jousting given the circumstances? Yeah, because he's not proclaimed heir yet, officially. Yeah. But 
it's okay. Yeah, so you get you get to uh, you get to Justice go against Queen. Queen. Yep. All right. This is definitely one I'm gonna roll on her for. Yeah. Let's see how this goes. Oh, oh my God. So I have a minus wow. five. I know it's the only way you can win. So it's it doesn't kick in until after the activity because I've got the handout pulled up here. But it is a minus five to all rolls. Yeah. Yeah. And, and I think you get twenty five you glory. Lose a point. You get twenty five glory. Well. Yeah. And you will lose a point of honor. Yeah. And I think you go mad yeah, at the end of it. Some. Eventually, yeah, we go melancholy. You go melancholy madness. for the scene, but then you go to madness yeah. because yeah, yeah. your thing's over 16. Yeah, yeah. Also, just want to say, I love that this ties back into uh, how you were using honor at the feast the night before. Yeah. For sure. Um, so you summon all the muster to go against Gwen. So it so, would also go against Gwen, but perhaps it's like what is between yeah. between the uncertainty of the of the succession and like I don't know, just something about the you take it the, the context is just like is this is this a, you know like what am I doing here? I think it's probably how it goes. Is it maybe like it the idea of like you're you realize you're so desperate oh, to beat him? that it's it's kind of going beyond the bounds of honor you know it's possible yeah like I, you know Gwen used to be a family friend until he just like burned that bridge <laughs> all wow. right so i'll be out for 11 days wow all right well you still get to uh participate in the joust for this yeah, one let's see how it goes yeah it's so weird to see this happen to someone else <laughs> it's it's yeah, a real wild it's been certainly been a while. All right, here we go. Yep. All right. Just let's see. So my effective skill is crit. What is it? Yeah, my effective skill is like a sixteen here. So I got success. Crit for success. All right. Uh, he unhorses you and, uh, you know, through the cheers and stuff like that for him, he's like, what's wrong with you? Yeah. You're better than that. And he asks you what's, you know, what's going on? I don't know that Kid Wallet can answer. I think she probably just gave, gives him like a thousand yards. Yeah. Stare. There's like, you like, you rode super hard on him. You know, like you like, you like yeah. if there was a ref, there was like a yellow, you know, there was a yellow card like during the yeah. event. He's like, you're just completely not you. Right? Like everyone, in fact, yeah, like everyone's like, what the hell's up with Kadwala? Yeah. She's just going to walk out. Yeah. What did Gwen do? <laughs> what did Gwen do to Kadwala? Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> like, everyone's like wondering, like, what the hell? <laughs> and meanwhile, all like the, you know, um, Lamarack and the, the Gales are like, yeah, yeah, <laughs> fuck them up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's okay, Kadwala. Um, they're coming over to you. And yeah, that's why, and Gorthrin's, or sorry, yeah, Gawain's going to head out at that point once all the... Yeah, it's all the commotion stops. Yeah, exactly. All all right. the, he doesn't want to be around the, the gales and move on to the next round and such. But yeah, all right, so you're also unhorsed. Okay. All right, you're unhorsed second round, so I believe that would be um, 100 glory. Yeah. It's pretty much, I think I'm doing it about 50 a round. And yeah. going against, I mean, going against Gawain as well, if there was any doubt why you should get more than what it is. All right. Well, uh, let's see. Tristam beats Gawain. Dun, dun, dun. So Tristan will win the tournament. Tristan so that wins the tournament. Lust. Oh yeah. Yep. Yeah, you got to use it. Oh yeah. So um, glory is retained in the. Never mind. I'm not gonna go. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see Tristan smoking a cigarette after that last hill? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah. And he will wear the sash of Salisbury. He will. He will wear the bright lance to rub it in. Um, a bit in. That's, that's what it's there for. Yeah. As far mm. as Archie's concerned, all of the Where Salisbury knights are fucking pissed. But poetically, like, yeah. yeah. Actually, <laughs> poetically, poetically, I think he will 
give it to Lady his his queen. Mm. Mm. Bold move. Yeah, he'll give it to his. Yeah, he, uh, yeah, he gives it to Queen Isol. Uh, yeah. Obviously, King as, Marks. As a reminder, what he can do with his lands. Yeah. Honestly. <laughs> Right. Give yourself ten glory for that quip. Honestly, that's that's too good because I can immediately see you in, uh, you know, in the high, uh, in the high seats, giving out that kind of commentary to the lady ne sitting next to you, <laughs> either your wife or like someone. You know what I mean? For sure. So, love it. Uh, but overall, um, the Sarm feast is goes off better than expected. Uh, folks were maybe a little down at the start of it, right? But, you know, the feast maybe wasn't all sunshine and rainbows as we wanted it to be. But um, following the tournament, the spirits of, of Logris are a little bit healed, I would say. Or at least on the, on the, on the up, on the mend. Nice. All right. After the funeral. Yeah. Uh, Kedwala, right. um, you're yeah. about that. So, so about 11 days. All right. All right. You're out for 11 days. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm wondering about that armor of yours. Yeah. What about it? When you return, uh, because you rode off in your armor, all mad and maddened, and your yeah. blacksmith didn't get a chance to look at it, uh, I'm going to say that it uh, you're going to need to spend uh, 20 gold on basically repairs to it. Uh, otherwise, you can continue to use this armor of chastity, but uh, it'll give you a half armor value. Half armor, okay. Twenty As gold, yeah. I mean, I have other suits of armor, but I mean, this is Elkazel's. It is, it is Elkazel's armor. Yeah. yeah. Get that fixed. All right. So, who in the who in is anyone capable of fixing it in Sarn? Well, Southern? that's why it costs. That's why it costs twenty gold to fix. <laughs> that's gonna be, that's gonna be yeah. Take it to the continent. Uh, honestly, um, yeah. I mean, it requires like material and smelters from uh, over there, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, a blacksmith who knows how to work uh, those materials. Uh, yeah, to get it rese uh, reseeded to you. Um, can you make a folklore test for me? To be about what you know about fairies and stuff going on right now. Okay. Fairies. All right, then you wouldn't have you wouldn't have this uh, pun intended piece together. Uh, but then your blacksmith would tell you, uh, as they are probably more towards leaning towards like the fairy and that stuff inclined as well, and say that uh, you know, it's the love of the Christ of yours. You know, it's doing something to the armor. Mm. Interesting. He'll leave it at that. Yeah. Because he doesn't want to... I don't mean to offend Lord. Yeah. But uh, it's... You know, it's like sand this, to this to this kind of armor. So it's going to keep happening. Yeah. Okay. Um, it might be time to just put it on display. Yeah. As long... Yeah. Basically, your, uh, your Christianity is wearing down the armor. Mm. Okay. Let's put it... Uh, as fine as I can. All right. I think with that, Kedwal won't spend the money to fix it. Just pay whatever it was up until that point. Yeah. And she'll go back to using her old plate. Nice. El Hazel's <laughs> armor. It'll be a trophy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, exactly. It'll be this kind of semi-broken armor on tro on display. As, and yeah. Uh, yeah. And you're immediately filled with libido. <laughs> so, yeah. Right. It's just like things are we're heading for a rough spot with Padra. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. So also, that was the calamity event for you was uh, degrading armor that I I twisted degrading that way armor. again. 
trying to be. Okay. Um, we have the marks sent to Queen Lunid of Gwent. But um, nothing to nothing serious to report for them this fall, as they uh, arrive and begin to winter up there. But you should expect that stuff to pop off next year, right? They're literally okay. just they're arriving from the continent, and you know. Mm -hmm. Let's see. So that's, they're coming from that's, yeah across the channel. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, Bishop Giordano uh, needs to talk to you, Archie, this winter before we mm. go or fall, I guess. Um, he invites you to Sarum instead of visiting you. Okay. This is an obvious power play. Mm hmm. Uh, and probably doesn't bode well to the nature of the appointment. But. He has questions about your um, some of the books you gave to him to read, specifically your chronicles. Yeah, uh, Archie is going to make sure to attend in any uh, uniform of office of the Marshal of Salisbury, just just to make sure that uh, the bishop knows that he's not playing against these power games against someone unfamiliar with them. Right. But you do show him the courtesy rather than asking him to come to you. Oh, right. absolutely. Archie's got no problem. Right. Okay. So in the chessboard, you allow him to play white. Yeah. 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 I'm, I'm Queen's, Gam Queen's Gambit accepted. All right. Not okay. declined. Understood. All right. Uh, Sir Archibald, I'm quite worried about what was written in these books about your your mother and everything going back further. There's, some would say not particularly Christian ideals. Some would say. Are you saying, Bishop? I'm a stranger to these lands. But, but no stranger to Christ, Bishop, you are, after all, oh, a bishop. No. Of course not. Uh, and perhaps that makes me too quick to judge when I see such propensities in this, on this continent. I'm just, yeah. After speaking to Rofus, and I, I know about the local customs, Uh, alluding to, you know, Stonehenge and the bearing of Loholt, right? Mm -hmm. But uh, there's too much blind adherence to these beliefs. And I don't know, obviously these are sins in the past. And obviously Acewind does good work um, up north. But I'm just worried about a sense of complacency and then perhaps the well-being of Forgive me, uh, Bishop, the, the sins of the past, um, it's been, I will uh, confess that it's been a little bit since I read those chronicles myself. I was raised on them, obviously. Uh, know them more or less by heart, though the details often escape me. Which, which sins are you referring to? Well, it seems that uh, Gareth uh, helped that pagan witch Merlin quite a lot. I see. I see. Is that, is that the first, perhaps the second commandment? Which of the commandments is it? Thou shalt not consort with a wise advisor to the king of Logarus. No, not at all. Sometimes you might... <laughs> No, Christ's chosen must go where they're most needed. But some of look, and you know, he points out a couple passages about how you retrieve the sword, <laughs> you know, and these things, and it's mm -hmm. like, you know, when you know, 
you had options of, you know, if Merlin called on you for these pagan rituals, and you you abided. Now, again, this is this is stuff in the past. There's, I'm just worried that the sins of the father pass to the sins of the the next, and so on. And is everything okay with you? I oh, find I anything. understand, Bishop. I understand now. You must forgive me. I'm uh, sometimes quite slow of wit and and uh, rather rather uh, dense as as some of the peasant folk. Um, I I have not, in fact, uh, gone into fairy and retrieved magical swords at behest of a half demon sorcerer named Merlin. Uh, in fact, uh, never met the man. Um, has not walked these lands uh, for some time, and uh, not quite. You had me worried. Uh, I had thought you were casting aspersions on my capabilities as a high marshal, uh, perhaps my qualities as a knight, my <laughs> human virtues as a follower of Christ. But oh, I would you were be simply worried about Merlin, <laughs> of course. Right. No, well, I haven't seen Merlin in quite some time. I'm, I'm, I'm more worried about these texts being available. In, in your scriptorium. Yes. Why? Oh. All these overt references to paganism, I think they should be kept under a, a closer, uh, under closer observation, right? So I think it would be best if you donated them to Vissarum. Anything, I let, I let you, let you go through them. References to paganism. My dear Bishop, you know there are pagans here in Salisbury. Pagans oh, exist. I know. Of course. And or should that's... we not talk about them? Well, we shouldn't offer texts and, and books that cast a good light on, on their heathen ways. We should we should preserve their souls, and by doing so we should you know, keep a close eye and guard these these texts. I'm not saying destroy them or anything like that. It would be of absurd. Not. But I'm just you saying don't... we should protect them. Of course not. You don't keep... beat the man lying on the roadside, having been beset by bandits. You simply walk along. I'm sure there's some Samaritan who's, uh, you know, equipped to deal with it. Look, if we... Just help, help, me, help me save their souls. Can you do this for me? My dear Bishop, we both know this has nothing to do with souls. I beg shall your we pardon. be frank? Shall we be frank here? Uh, this is not confession, but by all means. I think I know what you want here in Salisbury, and it may be cloaked as you are in holy garb. Let's not pretend that your only concern here it's the souls of our people. For indeed, if that were the yeah. case, you would spend less time trying to stamp on souls who you think uh, worthy stamping and more time ministering to the good souls in need here. Tell me, are there, is there nothing else in the Chronicle you might have read? The magnanimity of Gareth in contributing to the church, the goodly and godly works, not just of my family, but of many other families here in Salisbury, the change of heart that the Childerdens had as to their own faith. And yet all these things, what, bear no relevance next to talk of uh, Merlin, a magic sword and some uncanny pagan rituals. Yes, I'm just, I'm just saying that works that could be construed should be hey, that that perhaps yeah, shine a light to to positive paganism should be protected, and that's that's all I'm saying. Should could perhaps, yes. dear bishop, speak frankly. If there is heresy here, say, look. Yes, there is heresy here. Show it to me. Call it heresy. Shall heresy. I call your oh. mother? Call my mother? Yes. <laughs> She's no, alluding to not her 
status, but alluding to what she's doing against the wasteland. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Look at the things that she protects. The things that she costs. She, she spends her days and nights praying for the souls, for whatever is wrong in this country. And you think that I'm being petty about asking just to bring these books. In fact, I'm not probably not going far enough. But I want, I'm afraid of upsetting people like you in positions of power who can really affect change and save these souls. And I thought the piety of your mother, what if, she, I'm sorry. Just you know, think about it. You know, uh, so in other words, I think, I think rhetorically you're going to win here mm -hmm. and he's going to, and I'm saying, he's just going to say like, just, just think about donating them. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna, yeah. You know, um, change has always been something of a constant here in Salisbury. Yeah. We've had interlopers, invaders. We've gone to war. We've been racked by plague and, and all sorts of nonsense. Yeah. And, uh, from I think what makes me so proud of my family is that we are not separate and apart from Salisbury. We are only ever emblematic of it, which is to say, Bishop, you have come here, and one day you may leave, but we remain. And Archie's going to stand up and, and, and sort of leave the meeting. Uh, and he is not going to donate those books. Yeah. In fact, I'm thinking of a winter project now. <laughs> I think this. I think this bishop has gotten under Archie's skin in a very weird way that, like, Archie wasn't expecting, and so it's kind of outside his normal way of handling things. Yeah. Well, cool. awesome. Well, the uh, that was awesome. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, let's see how the growing wave of Christian fanaticism uh, affects Archie. Yeah. But uh, yeah, so far you you have preserved your books and your copies and your texts and stuff. So far. So yeah, just join him, and together you can rule the universe, right? Yeah. But uh, no, he's definitely he definitely was offended by the way uh, you were saying he was being so like brazen when he truly thinks he's doing the right thing here for the souls oh, of people. Good. I'd have hated yeah. for him to have missed the the disrespect yeah. I was trying to give him. <laughs> Awesome. All right. Uh, other th those are the scenes that I had on the docket for this year. Do you all have any follow ups for this year, in the fall? Uh, so I, I did some just searching around, and apparently there's a table in the GPC for what happens when your character goes mad. Like how did how are they revived and did they oh, learn yeah. anything from the experience? Mm. Oh, totally. No, I remember that. Uh, shoot. Yeah, one's like, like you could be like be a, you can be like a hermit something. in London or something for like forever. Yeah, yeah, yeah I remember this. Yeah, hang on a second. By a unicorn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, oh shit, that's <laughs> awesome. that's so sick. All right, hang on a second. I have to find that. You're right. I totally forgot that's in there. Uh, solo madness events. It's a D twenty roll. Can you please roll a D twenty? I found it. Yeah, yeah. Let's see how it goes. So for just under two weeks. Eleven. You fell in with robbers. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, you check bow, <laughs> dagger, and hunting. Jeez. Oh my god. Hey, Walla, what happened? Yeah. Jesus. I love that for her. Yeah. Especially um, on a failure of honor. Like that's like yeah. too perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Um guess what I don't though? I have the bow skill. When you <laughs> When you return, one of your fellow bandits was Lancelot. Oh. So, 
uh, oh. with a shaggy beard and like. <laughs> the uh, fuck? Yeah. So uh, yeah, you also um, you only, it's only like in your recent recognizance do you like wait a second was that him? I think I might know where yeah. Lancelot is. Yeah. yeah, right. So we'll worry about that yeah. um, in the future. But uh, yeah, only because of just the crazy fact of events that aligned to that <laughs> that you also wound up as a going mad and becoming a robber that i will uh yeah. tie those two things together like, like recognize each other yeah <laughs> uh awesome all right so yeah. i don't even have a bow skill yeah i guess i got we'll to see how that goes that's so cool <laughs> There's Lancelot. Mm -hmm. Incredible. Um, I don't know that Archie is gonna going to uh, wait particularly long to kick off this feud with the bishop. Sure. Um, I think he is going to try and raise some interest in and see if there's a possibility in uh doing a festival in sarum to celebrate the history of salisbury uh and uh it would involve like it would be a feast and it would involve like getting bards and stuff to perform uh and sing about the various chronicles and past deeds of notable knight families here in the in the county Hmm. Okay. I, I I love that idea. But do you want that to happen next year? Yes. Yeah. No. This is something he's gonna. This is a personal project. He's gonna uh, kind of try to put together because he's also gonna try and do his best to curate what gets performed uh, to m most raise the blood pressure of our dear bishop. Oh, uh, right. That makes a lot of sense now. I see what you're doing. Mm-hmm. Making a note here. Something yeah, um, you could even get uh, the what's his name? Uh, what's the name of the famous bard? Uh, I think it was Bill Rattlepike or something. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Um Talison. Want Talison oh, to yeah, perform? Yeah. Yes, absolutely. And there was another thing that is a uh maybe a longer term project for Archie. Um having identified or started to identify the jackals who are interested or have something to gain from a post uh, Arthur chaos uh, of secession. Uh, I think Archie wants to try and like honeypot them, try and try right. and dread pull these things to light and and deal with them before they have any momentum or or right. let me real planning. Let me so that's, offer that's you a longer term project. Okay. Okay, but hold on. Uh, I have to offer you an ugly choice here about okay. your planning, right? Because you can really only put your resources, your 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 strategies into one of these two camps. Okay. Yeah. Uh, do you do you want? <laughs> oh, okay. I was, my question was going to be: Do you want to deal with the higher politicking of Camelot and the issues of who wants to be king, or do you want to deal with the local insurgencies of Christianity? Bishop. Bishop. Okay. Okay, then. Um, let me ask you this question, because uh, this is going to be the first thing that happens during the winter. Is uh, some of, let's see, let's maybe it's like the heir of the De Vries castle. They want to petition the Earl and you to ban pagans from tournaments. 
non Absolutely. no one no one uh baptized uh sorry Ab Absolutely not. Yeah. That's a not non-starter. I think Archie is weirdly going to become a champion of the pagans even though he's he's not one and his family has always been traditionally very Christian. Yeah. <laughs> like everyone every one of the PCs has had a very high spiritual. Yeah. How do you feel about that, Kedwala? No more pagans being able to joust? Yeah. I mean, not very strongly. Are there any left in Salisbury? There's a, only a few. I mean, there's I mean, there's Stonehenge, but, right? But right. That's different. But they're druids, and yeah, like they're they're messed up. But there's not there's not that many pagan knights, right? Yeah. Especially at this day and age. So like, you're really only precluding like only a couple, and most of them are like the weird Orkneys, right? Yeah, uh, yeah, in terms of the famous yeah. ones, but there's not really any. So like they think that this is just sort of like a, an obviously thing we should just put it on the books because we're we're mm. Christian here and you know, basically sorry what they say sorry they don't say or, let me let me rephrase this let me reframe it because they don't say like no pagans allowed what they say is everybody uh, who jousts needs to receive mass the morning of yeah mm. of course. So, yeah, would you be baptized? Yeah. Well, th you can't receive you can't receive the Eucharist unless you were baptized. So, like, the idea sure. is yeah. it's it's done through that way rather than saying right. negatively. Right. So yeah. how do yeah. you rhetorically get around that, Colin? Right. That is difficult. That is difficult. Um, so that's what's put forward is that everybody should receive the Eucharist before. Um, so perhaps that's why uh, our, our fair Lord Loholt. Uh, was taken from us so early, right? If he only had the Eucharist in the morning, it would have been okay. Uh, part of a spiritual that breakfast. Is, that is yeah. a toughie. Um, so, I mean, and the, the problem is that like you're 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 defending ghosts. Like nobody, you know, like there's like nobody is a pagan. Yeah, but it's the principle. Yeah. It's the principle. This is, this is how it starts. This is how it so starts. how do you how do you um, stop the rise of Christian fascists? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Uh, how do you the christians uh zealotry that's going to be sweeping um oh uh i know i so, I, I know oh, this, yeah. which mass christian british or roman catholic uh, i'm not bravo. gonna fight i yeah i'm not gonna bravo. i'm not gonna fight this one i'm gonna make them fight themselves <laughs> <laughs> well done I think that will <laughs> that will uh, strangle that baby in its cradle uh, easily yeah. as the as they uh, does devolve into infighting. I love I love like the immediate unified front of like we've uh, we should have this this mass beforehand, and I'm like which one? They're like, and they both <laughs> answer two different things. At the same Why time. I oughta? Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, <laughs> perfect. Uh Colin, you're so good. Oh, I love it. Yeah. So this is how you. Good. Oh, that's so good. At, uh, that feels like a that feels like a stopgap though. Like they, yeah, they'll figure they'll figure that one out. That's only giving me some some breathing room. That's it. Oh yeah. This was not put forward by the bishop either, though, right? This was this was by other people. The yeah, was the spread of Christianity. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, 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 no. That's the thing uh, that I want to highlight here. It's not that the um... the bishop is a symptom. Uh, not the cause dislike <laughs> yeah this is not a this is the the surge of christianity is not a problem you can punch in the face yeah i mean you can punch that symptom though <laughs> for sure yeah. you can yeah. you know what i mean you can that's, definitely that's not archie's that's not yeah style. but unfortunately yeah to i don't mind telling you all that stuff yet but like this is i don't mind telling you that you know this is sort of like my prelude to the grail and the surge of the grail quest, right, is mm -hmm. the surge of Christian fundamentalism over the, the land. Love it. So, uh, yeah. So it's going to be a little ugly, but um, I, don't know, I think that's I think it's, it's going to it kind of fits. Yeah. Um, yep. So you have the deal of the the rise of, rise of Christianity, the global politicking of who's going to be the next heir. Mm -hmm. uh, Let's let's do winter. Uh, yeah, those are all the right. those are all the problems for you after Christmas. Right. 
If you need the time. Sure. Yep. Uh, it's an average year in terms of difficulties. Ooh, Merciful goes up. That hmm. actually is really good. That gives me a breathing room. Part of that on. conversation. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. And my proud doesn't go up. So I've given myself some definite breathing room on the chivalry bonus. Love yeah. to see that. Very nice. Now let's see Paul Allen's chivalry. <laughs> oh, uh, one, one shy. So my prudent also went up. And my suspicious. This is an interesting development for it's Archie. It's a lot of growing this year. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I th oh. mm -hmm. Good while I'm learning I'm nothing. thinking about this. All right. And I think I had some skill. Oh. I'm going to check the loyalty Arthur for some reason. My concern for commoners goes up. Jesus, uh, this is really Archie wow. kind of like. God, and I love that it happens right when he gets his chivalry bonus, like that he has he has like a come to Jesus moment almost, almost uh -huh. literally. Which just doesn't get better at any weapon stuff, of <laughs> course. <laughs> yeah, which which I, ad I admire. I admire religious fervor and also being a defender of sort of the pagan traditions of, of england yeah yeah it's 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 one of those things that i think it for archie i think it springs from a at least initially from a kind of intellectualized way yeah because this was a question that um early yeah. like theologians kind of had of like yeah. what do you do about aristotle or what do you do about the pre pre-christ minds and thinkers and that had good points those that had good points that you needed to use like you needed their philosophy and their points in order to support your own but they weren't yeah. christians like and so like there were this there was this kind of um exceptionalism that would often get applied to them be like they actually went to purgatory not hell i know right. I know non-believers go to hell, but this way he's in purgatory, so he's where okay. they're allowed to be baptized after yeah. death. <laughs> yeah, right. It's all, yeah. I think it starts there for Archie, where it's just like, where it's just like, well, no, but like, pagans are part of Saul's brain. We needed them, like we, and then from there, I think, I think what sets him off is the bishop as a very visceral, tangible, right there face to the the thing that um that is happening and yeah. for him to realize like this is not an intellectual prog problem this might affect only a couple nights here but like it's going to affect people that i yeah. know that whose whose lands i've i've walked over so i think that that's that's the that's the turn for him you get, you get to play salisbury here i stand <laughs> Converting the towns back over. Don't, how dare you bring that game up? Now I, now I want to play it again. Yeah. I was going to say yeah, that, or like you're, sharing, you're, or you're playing sharing a, all my here I stand yeah. memes with some reason. <laughs> yeah. yeah, or it's like a, a you know a, the next coin series game. Okay, all right. Do you want to message Blinks or should I? <laughs> no, right. I think we're okay. Dear GMT, yeah. drop drop Red Dawn or whatever it's being called. Red Red Sky Rebellion. Red Sky Rebellion. Drop that. New Salisbury. idea. New idea. Same thing, right. <laughs> but different. I promise. All right. Uh, so your calamity effects are fine because the Pax of Thuriana. Uh, looking at an eleven, for Till said. Going into the justice event for the year. Nice. Okay. I got no aging. Yeah. Uh, family survival. Oh, uh, right. Let me bring us over to the winter phase so you can see the order of operation. Or twenty changed their map menu. It's all it's all like weird now. All right. Really, I haven't used it since the change. All right. 
solo scenario events. Don't worry about that. Experience rolls did aging, household member survival, and then econ. Mm -hmm. Survival. Everybody's good. I assign Ellery Weatherwax to something. Uh, sure. Um, I, I feel like last session I had her no. doing something specifically. Now I can't remember what or if that was a thing. <sighs> Didn't you send her? No, you definitely did it. This this is ringing a bell. I uh, think you I sent send her, her with Hepke. Yeah. That's right. I sent her to 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 um, Phrygia. Yeah. Okay. That's it's probably good she's out of town right as the shit is kicking off with the bishop. <laughs> probably. I might send a letter being like, "Hey, take your time coming home. <laughs> you could take a holiday. Everything, everything's fine. Enclosed a uh, two libra. Buy yourself a Star Wars." <laughs> <laughs> uh nothing else really in my uh character survival nonsense so all right uh economic circumstances justice event for jim and kedwala mm -hmm. a sibling of a childhood friend challenges a peddler who's unconvincing their dispute is about the ownership of an ox unconvincing peddler is an oxymoron. Oh my god. Uh, your the He's... childhood friend is very good at convincing. <laughs> very convincing. Uh, they got a 13. <laughs> they beat you. So, I mean, I know them. But you pass. Yeah. It's a peddler. So, your hatred doesn't go up. Or s No. No. You're it's because you fail. Your hatred doesn't go up. Uh, so now you just have the test concern. Which I think is for you as long as you don't roll a 20. It's zero. Yeah, I don't, yeah as long as I don't crumble. All you got to do is build them a Panera Bread. And you can start getting them the positives. Yeah, yeah, I tried that once and then it went back down to zero. Yeah, I think I burned down or so, something. Yeah, yeah something. And then happened. you're like, ah, I'm done with that. Yeah. Yeah. Stop trying to make these people happy. Exactly. Okay. Uh... Colin uh, Archie is an estranged peddler challenges a lover of a childhood friend who is notoriously suspicious. Their dispute is about a knifing over a killing over window damage. So it's okay. a second order knifing. The, so this is the sequel to some previous. <laughs> yes, case, this is a, exactly. Yes. In the previous case, there was a, a murder over window damage. Murder over window damage. And I'm guessing the peddler, peddler is the one who took the fall for it. Yeah. And there, uh, so now the peddler is challenging this suspicious lover of a childhood friend. Okay. <laughs> I think... Accusing them of knifing the peddler, <laughs> I guess. Is the... Yeah. I, yeah, this peddler has because the, been... Oh, because the peddler is like the key witness in the killing case or whatever. Yeah. 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 <laughs> He was supposed to be the key witness, and we're like, we're, we're gonna keep you locked up for your own safety until we catch this killer. And then, like, two years later, the peddler's like, When do I get to testify? So he's like, estranged. Oh, Who, are you? <laughs> Who are you? Who are you? Yeah, what are you doing? Sorry, I didn't even know that this, this, part and then of the he, tower had a room, and then even worse. Then he gets knifed. <laughs> Wait, who's this guy in the ca who's the guy in this castle? <laughs> gets... This is burn after reading. This is the end of burn after reading. Yeah. Oh. All right, well, guess uh, guess we learned something from all this. What did we learn? I don't. Uh, I do. I do not know. Well, 
not learn not to do it do it again. The fuck if I know what we did. <laughs> okay, rolling just. Ar I think Archie no cuts the complexity of the case is like, look, there's a lot of history here. There are a lot of factors going back and forth, but legal precedence is clear. Once a peddler has been locked up, you cannot free them. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, it's double jeopardy. Uh, it's something. a fail. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, so you, you succeed wildly, which I think reduces your hatred by one if it was negative. Uh, yes, actually, I think it is yep yeah, cool. it is dropped down to six i now have a solidly positive our lord is so just getting rid of them peddlers our lord so just he he prisoned that peddler twice on our account all right uh your concern roll yeah uh, da, 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 da. Oh, it's 14 now. Boom. Solid, solid copy. That's that's a success. Nice. Okay, you're rolling against a nine and Jim's rolling against an eleven. Spouse industry. Uh no, this is for the econ. Uh the stewardship. Stewardship. Oh. Ooh, a fail versus a fail. Seneschal. What does that mean? Uh, I believe a fail versus a fail has not happened for you. My god, hold on, that has literally never happened in this entire game. Yeah. Oh no, it, ha it happened in 536. I found one. Uh, I, I think it just means normal lifestyle. Okay. That's what I did in 536 at least. And got it. Uh, I also failed. And you passed, which is great. You get to live richly. Uh, which happened last year, too. So that's great. Yep. Uh, it's free 20. Uh, this one's free 8. You get to live richly. It's only going to cost you 12 gold that year to... Right, Till said, yes, industry for you now. See you there. Got two from the apiary. Oh, nice. Okay, so then uh, you're getting five that year instead of four. Did you get your in oh? You did roll industry. Nice. All right. So that's another one. Uh, you're looking at two. Looks like you're going to end the year. Uh, you've lost two Librum over the course of the year. You're at from you start at two ninety six and you're down to two ninety four, and this includes your warships. Being done. So. Okay. Uh, gun it. To live richly, your final lifestyle cost then is zero. Spouse, in, spouse, in, ah, spouse industry. Spouse industry. Um, uh, there you go. There you are, my wife. I'm going to use Spouse Industries. Uh, in, I'm um, Success. Nice. Spouse Industry is the name of a faction in a traveler game. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, that is supposed to be Industry, which is 17. So yeah, it's, it's fine. Passed. These sheets it's are just... cursed. That's Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, improvement income for your apiary. Is it 15 or 16? Uh, 15. Nice. So the good thing about you is that you don't have to worry about your graveyard because Pax or Thoriana has been keeping things so like low key for you mm -hmm. that your um the weather has never been super bad, causing people to be religious and cling to it. Yeah. Um. Okay. You're you've gained 21 gold this year. 21 Libram hey. from 220 to 241. It's dangerous how much you're catching up to. Yeah, it is. And I still <laughs> You're the reckless and spender. What the hell? <laughs> and I still have seven sets of armor. Yeah. I just just chilling in my armory. Well, I mean, at I least three of them are like 
backups and yeah. one is going to be for my kid who is now 12 so yeah we're very close to him becoming a squire true he's still yeah. paging yeah same for uh Ooh, yeah okay Yeah, they're going to... Okay. I feel like it's pretty safe to say that your kids growing up today in the paging program will almost all be baptized. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I won't introduce that consequence. Okay. This is good. Yeah. Actually, get more horses yeah. out of them. I found out a grail also isn't a cup. A grail is like a serving tray. Technically. Hmm. So like, the holy grail is not, yeah, like the term, a... like there is only one grail. Like, like no one ever uses the term grail, you know, like. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, there's no other. Uh... Yeah, it means what it means. Yeah. Like, I mean, at this point, a grail is a chalice, but, like, apparently it's more to, like, a serving bowl. All right. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. I was listening to the Rest is History podcast. They had the Holy Grail as a topic, and I was like, yoinks. Hmm. Gotta take that. Right. Yeah. One of, my, one of my horses dies. Oh. That's all right. I only have 13 others. Yeah. Yeah. I, I technically have 12 horses, I think, when you count ace wins, but I I am uh, less obsessive yeah. about uh, my stable than Jim is. So, yeah, I was like, new character, new, new stable. That's fair. You saw it off the others. Yeah. Plus all the cool ones died. So I'm now, I've, but this one I've got Peas Blossom, my elf horse. Mm. I'm trying trying to breed Peas Blossom. In fact, I know it did breed Peas Blossom. So this is some. Oh, uh, with an with an elven mare. Yeah. Or, okay. Uh, then yeah, so roll the a first... punnet square. You get to do punnet squares. Yeah. Hit me. No, you you hit me. D four. What? D four. Yeah, that's what I meant. Is what do I roll? Oh. One. Oh, um, shoot, actually, <laughs> I'm like, yeah, do this, do this. Like, uh, mm -hmm. guy who doesn't know the rules voice. Uh, I don't remember which one it is. Let me just, let me see. Winter checklist. Um, on a two plus your trait is passed. Oh, uh, one D four, uh, on a one, your horse special trait is passed on. Hey. Oh, no, oh yeah. So on a special plus special on a D four on a two plus your trait is passed on. Okay, so, so the, the first son of Peas Blossom did not get the elf horse trait. The second one did. Nice. Mm. Uh, okay. good. So it continues having the elf blood. Which if you ever wanted to sell it or do anything, it's, it's a special horse. Yeah, I'm probably going to put the first son of Peas Blossom up as a uh, tournament okay. uh, like uh tournament reward can you roll a d uh d30 for me for this new one for the cult yeah 28 oh my god yeah okay uh one two three four five can you roll a roll a d6 for me Cool. Uh, you got um, enmity towards race and will buck off or attack riders of a given race. Uh, I'm saying that was uh, Saxons as a culture instead. So I had a okay. D6. Yeah. So you have a racist horse. But as anti <laughs> you can ax it if you want to. Uh, like that King uh, of the Hill episode. <laughs> But uh, yeah, your horse has hatred Saxon. I, I'm, in my notes, I accidentally wrote Saxon towards racists. 
<laughs> okay, that's actually better. But uh, yeah, all right. Your horse has a hatred of Saxon passion. Oof. Interesting. Just bored. Might be thing. putting this one up. Yeah, he's selling this. Opposite, no. It's an elven horse, man. It's, yeah, yeah, it's something I, in the diet. Nice. Yeah, right. Yeah. Shadow yeah, Fox just, uh, spent too much time on Facebook. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I'm just like we're just brushing this new uh, horse down in the stable, being like, "Oh, this is a good horse." I think we're gonna keep this horse. The horse. It's like, have you ever heard about Saxons? <laughs> okay, <laughs> bring that back. Uh, getting so rid of this one. This oh, okay, <laughs> all right. Just commit a percent over percentage of crime. Like, okay, dude, you're going to the glue factory. Nope. Nope. <laughs> All right, cool. Well, then that will that will pretty much wrap up five forty eight. We do our glory. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe it's like a recessive gene that gets brought out from the elven horses. <laughs> All right. Who knows? Cool, 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 cool. Yeah. Did we finish our practice and stuff in glory? Uh, practice foist. Uh, I am going to. I'm gonna dump both my um training and practice and my glory bonus into a religion skill. I have yeah. a feeling. I have a feeling might serve me well in the coming days. If you're gonna go toe to toe with a bishop, maybe maybe bone up on your on your scripture a little bit. I'm kind of curious where Conan Helm's at in the church hierarchy. Gorthon's first oh, born. Yeah. I don't know how old he is yet? Yeah, we'll Let's see. New bishops coming into town. Yeah. Oh, oh, he's born in 506. Just like 42. Oh. Dang. I think this should have been my bishop in the seat. Hmm. I mean, Conehelm. <sighs> yeah, could have been, maybe. It's a lot of bishops, and maybe it for, will be. Maybe it will be one day. For somebody, for somebody from out of town to be appointed, you know. Yeah. Apparently the apparently the Earl saw something in him. The old Earl, right? Yeah, because he was sent from Rome. Yeah. yeah. That's true. Didn't really do a uh intrigue game about what's going on for Conehelm and the inner workings <laughs> of the church politics. Yeah. But uh all right. Cool. I don't know. I don't know, maybe there's an ally there for yeah. Archibald. Right. Okay. Well then I think that will end the year five forty eight. What's our what's our final glory totals? Uh, I am at eleven oh sixty. Thirteen thousand one hundred twenty one. Eleven K and thirteen K. Great. Yeah. All right. And I know uh for everyone watching, um our scheduling hasn't been super reliable. And I'm sorry to report that our scheduling is going to get increasingly worse reliable on that front. Uh, I have a family emergency that's going to basically take me out of action for the next couple months. As my mom's got to go through chemo and I'm going to be there for her. And I don't think I can stream from a MacBook. No. Nah. You so, got other things going on. Yeah. So this might, this might wrap up for um, 2023. But uh, don't worry, my 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 love for this game has completely unwavered. Yeah. 
uh, literally yeah, since, yeah. you know, for like five years ago or whatever it is yeah. at this point, uh, you know, we we're, we're here for it, but uh, we will have to go on a little bit of a hiatus. Um, you know, family health, you know, they, yeah. they rolled a bad survival check or whatever. And you know, I don't want to make light of it. Okay. Yeah. So thanks everybody. And uh, yeah. we'll, we'll see you when we see you. See you when we see you. Bye.